Hey, hey, this is Captain and Admiral. In this episode, we're going to go through all the customizations we've done on Aquaholic our Express Cruiser from bow to stern in this episode. So we'll see you right back after the intro. Hey, so okay, we're going to start with the bow walk back to the stern these are customizations we've done from day one on aquaholic which is our um, 30 foot express cruiser um here you can see we've redone the uh we got new pillows uh what do you call this um quilt the new quilt fabric and while we're back here our new youtube shirts came in <laughs> uh the other day which you may have seen one of them on the uh, video. boating uh, boat review that we did in Annapolis uh, boat show the power boat show uh, we got Bay Life blankets over here we've also done uh, new curtain curtains from what the, when we purchased the boat we also have new curtains over in the dining area which match those curtains Uh, I don't know if it'll show up, but we have the LED lighting around the TV, which shows up real nice at night. Real nice at night. All right, coming back, we have a locker here. Um, the sink is here. We have this bowl over top of it, but the sink is here. Uh, two cabinets underneath. Uh, stove, refrigerator. So we're set up real good. Uh, bar in the back over here. You may have seen this in a previous video also. Nice little alcoholic bar to get our party on. <laughs> uh, we have storage up here. Um, this is what... I guess I'll take this up to the top floor. We'll talk about that. Uh, we have the bathroom here, which is also... We have a mirror on the back of the door. I thought this was nice. Um... Nice little boat right there. I think that lights up, huh? Maybe not. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Marine toilet. <laughs> yeah. And um, more curtains back. More here. curtains underneath of there. Yep. So. I think that would about do it down here. Let's go upstairs. Oh, while we're down here, I can't forget the new Fusion radio, which is um, Bluetooth. You can play it upstairs, downstairs. You can change between both or, or separate separate two two areas. Let's push the circle button. This one. Mm -hmm. and it controls the different. Yeah, zone one and zone two, different volumes. We're playing Kevin Hart right now. <laughs> <laughs> and also the, the microwave is here so everything everything works so now we go upstairs hey okay so now we're up in the helm area of the boat which is where we drive it so here um, of course we had the, the new garment that was purchased so neat about it is it just pops in She's ready to go. This is the Garmin that actually came with the boat. So we have a little redundancy there. Um, also, we purchased this uh, portable Garmin GS Map 78 SC, which is battery operated in case any of the electronics squad on the boat. We still have GPS to get home. <laughs> um, it's a nice little cover that covers the helm. In the previous video, I also mentioned the new rockers that we installed from uh, newwiremarine.com. A uh, funny thing happens when you press this button, a stripper pole comes up. I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> uh, marine radio, uh, trim tabs, wipers. Those are how you make the boat go and stop. <laughs> Um, compass, uh, pretty much everything you need, like you have on an automobile, you have right here on the boat. One more thing we wanted to be upgraded up here was the remote. 
You can take this remote and walk around anywhere on the boat. Anywhere on the boat, use it to volume, change your stations. Whatever you want to do, you can do it from this remote, on and off, fusion remote. If you get a fusion radio, I do recommend the fusion remote. Awesome. Uh, pop that back on. Due to some AV difficulty, I have to narrate this part. But these were some fender holders that I got from West Marine. The starboard side broke, so I'm in the process of replacing that now. Okay, here we are at the stern of the boat. And you have this pretty yellow object right here. Nice and pretty. This is actually a um, needed. You actually need one of these. This is a type four throwable. US Coast Guard, this, this, this is necessary to have on every boat. If someone goes over, you just toss it to them. They can use it to float on it until help arrives, or until you can fish them out of the water. Um, that's tucked right in the rear of the cooler. Which actually came part of the boat, which is cool. A nice cooler, which empties, when the ice melts, it empties over the side of the boat. Um, coming back to the port side. This hatch here is where we keep um, fire extinguishers. And flares. Flares. That's oil. I don't think I ever use that, though. <laughs> Check oil before you leave every trip. <laughs> so you ain't got to use it in the water. This hatch, we keep extra line. Like to have always like to have extra line. Other than that, I did have the new lights that I kept saying I was gonna put up all season, but never got around to it. Maybe that can be a winter project, but I do have the two new LED lights that changes colors. I also have lighting to go to around the seating area, which I also never got to put up. You know, summertime come, things happen. Never had the time to do it. But um there we have I also wanted to note the aqua marine deck that we got installed at the beginning of the last boating season. This marine deck was installed by a company called Island Yacht and Canvas out of Stevensville, Maryland, which is one of the best upgrades we ever did to Aquaholic. And as a boater, no boating expedition is complete without <laughs> cigars and cognac. <laughs> so I'm going to have the Admiral to come, come with me as we uh, partake in the wrap up portion of it. And we want to say that um, this is probably the last day of the year that Aquaholic will be on the on water. The water. Um, they're going to take it out and winterize it. Uh, shrink wrap it so it's been pretty cold this October and September so this is probably um, the last video but we'll have on the water that's very sad it's okay to cry <laughs> 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 I want to myself um, this has been a, a, a great summer a long boating summer uh, the longest that we've had uh, very rewarding looking forward to 2023 boating season uh, now that we have the new motor, new carburetor, I'm getting another new carburetor on the starboard side motor over the winter. So it'll be one new motor and two new carburetors. Looking forward to getting out there and just uh, boating. I think we got to, the next one is probably start with anchoring because we didn't do that this year. We'll pick up next year with that. So is there anything the Admiral would like to say before she cries <laughs> <laughs> next season <laughs> next season yeah all right so as usual we appreciate you guys you can like and or subscribe we would love that we would love that to grow our boating viewers and help us with this journey so with that said, we'll see you next video, which will probably be uh, shrink wrapper and winterization, and the boat will be on land, also known as the hog. See you later. The boat will be on land, also known as the hog. See you later. <laughs> yeah, you gotta cut that out. <laughs>